So this is a quick tutorial on how to use the template installer and get templates onto your remarkable device, the custom templates. So the, the template or the template installer that I use is the one from Inkpads and you can actually go onto their website and purchase that product. And that's E-I-N-K-P-A-D-S dot com. So once you purchase the application, um, the one thing I will tell you is that if you try to actually install or put the app up on your desktop, if for whatever reason it doesn't stay there. So what I actually did was I actually went into the program files under Inkpads 2.3.5 and actually brought up the, the folder and, and put the folder on my desktop so that way I don't always have to go digging for it. So to get this started, what you do is you go into that folder, you go into the, the icon that says app application and open up and what you're going to get is a screen here. So now when you start, so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit where you see this is my IP address and then the root and then this is my password for my actual device itself. So in order to find that information, you actually go into your remarkable under menu and then under settings and then under help right here at the very bottom you will see these about and you'll have compliance statement copyrights and licenses etc so if you go into the copyrights and licenses all the way down here at the bottom you will see where it says the ip address is actually right here so 10.1199.1 is mine and then actually up here in this paragraph you will actually see the username is root and the password is this and so that information goes into this screen. And that is how you actually access your device to get the custom templates on there. So once you have that information in, I will tell you the other thing that's pretty important is that your charging cord that comes with the device needs to be plugged into your device and then also plugged into your computer so that way you are accessing the actual device itself. So you will have to have the, uh, the device plugged into your computer and then this information here. After you have that, you hit go connect. And now in here, you're gonna see all of your template files that are actually already on your device. So if I scroll down through here, I can see all of them. Now, when you wanna upload custom templates, you basically go into the file where you have them saved. So we're gonna go to here and I'm gonna take the mileage log. You want the PNG file. So you want the one, it's an image file that says PNG. So if any of the ones that you bought from me came with both a PDF and a ping, you want the ping to be able to drop into this program. But so basically all you do is you open this up to the mileage log and you drag and you drop it here. And so what you'll see then come up is it'll come up and it'll say, um, success here and then the information below this is a portrait template it's not landscape the template name I would suggest that you save your files somewhere in a folder that you will never ever change the name you do not want to change the name because when Remarkable does updates to their systems, it will actually wipe out all of your custom templates from the device. So you will need to reload them back in every time that, that Remarkable does an update. Now the updates don't happen, happen often, it's a couple months in between. I think I, since I've owned my, my uh, since I've owned my Remarkable for the last, oh, I think I bought it in May of 2020, they've done three updates. So I've had to do this three times, but don't ever rename those files because what will happen is if you rename those files here or here, when you go to drag them back into the device, it actually will not recognize them. And so anywhere where that template was used in the background, it will come up with an error message on your Remarkable. So as long as the name remains the same, you will have no problems when you upload them back into the system here, they will, they will show up on the Remarkable anywhere where they were used previously. So don't change the name. Change the name where you save it in the file and then that, leave it at that. Make sure you never change the name after that before you upload it into the actual device itself. So this particular one is mileage log. You can give it a custom category. So you have your ones that already come on to, or come with the device itself, or you can actually create a custom category. So, you know, if, if you wanted to say, you know, this is uh, um, mileage tracking 
you, know, you could call it whatever you wanted. Um, so custom category, and then the select icon. If you do not select an icon, what's gonna happen is on the actual device itself, I'll zoom out here a little bit. On the actual device itself, when you are in uh, here, you will, oops, sorry. When you're in the device itself and you're in the templates, these are the icons that you see. If you don't select an icon, you're just gonna get basically a blank square. It's gonna look just like that. Um, so now the one thing with Remarkable and, and this type or this with the uploading of the custom templates, it's not, this is one of the little funky things about it. You're not gonna be able to use an icon that looks like your custom template. What I would suggest if it, if it bothers you having a blank icon, I would just pick something that looks similar to what it is. So we'll just pick this one for now. So after all that information is in, you click done and that's basically it. So then I always suggest going onto your device and we're going to actually reset the device by going to menu and settings and then restart. So we'll restart this. Oops. And then once it restarts, then we'll actually go in. I'll show you where that seat oh. takes a second or two. And you can actually upload several templates into this system at one time before you have to go back through and restart your device. So if you have a file where you save all of your templates at, you just go in, um, drag them all into here, um, you know, put in the correct information and then restart your device and then you'll be able to see all of them. So if we go into mine and now we come here, when I go into the templates, um, I can see my custom category right there, mileage and tracking. And then there's my mileage log. And that is how they come in. And there it is. And so now, now that this is an actual template, I can continuously keep adding pages onto this. Um, new page. I can continuously keep adding new pages onto this and I can use this, this template anywhere in any of my notebooks. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help any way that I can and provide any tutorials that I need to um, to help you answer any questions that you may have. I appreciate your business and look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks.